Early Snow Peak is a sequence break in Twilight Princess HD that was found in late April 2020. It allows the player to traverse the Snow Peak wasteland and make it to the Snow Peak ruins without the need for the Reekvish Sand and without the use of map glitch. This, with some other routing changes, lowered the any percent category by roughly 6 to 8 minutes. Every single element of this trick is very important, and I will have a link to the script down below if you're like me and learn best from the text. This is an in-depth tutorial, and if you know exactly what you're looking for, the timestamps are in the description. While developing the setup for this trick, one thing that was mentioned early on was the need to pan the camera out during the ESS and pause buffering section. This results in needing to hold the control stick down, the B button, and the plus button all at the same time. I have been using what I've dubbed the bowling ball grip, ring finger on the C stick, middle finger on the B button, and pointer finger on the plus. I switched from my normal grip to the modified grip during the midnight transformation. Jump across the ice and hug the left wall. Run to the corner where the magic happens. I use an L target A as wolf to get up on the shelf. Make sure to clear the midna text before you attempt the trick. There are some random voids that can happen on the run up, just make sure to practice this a few times too. This trick takes place in the absolute corner of two large void planes. Outlined in blue here are the polygon edges of the ground texture. These are only for visual reference. Outlined in red is the nearest approximation of where the void zone edges are. You want to avoid these at all costs, as voiding is your biggest time loss. It is easy enough to reset positioning, but it really sucks to have to run back across the map. Take note that the hitboxes of Human Link and Wolf Link are different, and what may be safe for Human Link might not be safe for Wolf Link. Positioning for this trick is extremely important. Not only are you surrounded by void zones, but in order to pick up the Wolfo's hitbox with the Midna charge, you have to be close enough to the wall. I L target, then use my control stick to pan the camera until it's lined up. Un L target and nudge the control stick ESS forward to align link with the camera. This is faster than using C up and checking each time. You can see on the left, the collection slash save text is lined up with the black mark on the wall and the crease is roughly in the center of the map. This angle is for consistent foot positioning and has no effect on the trick itself as your camera angle changes when you pull your claw shot out. Line Link's sheath up with the leftmost dot of the bowling ball spots. They can be hard to see, so you may need to turn your monitor brightness down. If you are in the right spot, Link's left leg will appear to be hanging in the air. Hitting the Wolfles with the claw properly is the secret sauce to getting this trick to work. Most problems arise from not hitting the Wolfles at the right time. As this trick has zero RNG, the Wolfles run path is determined by two factors, the claw hit and the ESS right, which we'll get into later. The Wolfles have a set spawn point on the map just behind the void zone. This spot does not move left or right and they will always spawn here. The only RNG involved in this trick has to do with how long the Wolfos wait before charging at Link. All of their movement is reactively based off of user inputs and Link's positioning. You want to hit the Wolfos just after the apex of its jump on the way down. Too early and you won't be able to get the mid in a charge target. Too late and the Wolfos won't run up the shelf. Wait until the Wolfos charge at Link. If two are coming at the same time, hit the further back one. Make sure that only one Wolfos is involved because the other will screw up the entire trick. The goal of the ESS turn is to face Link away from the direction we want the Wolfos to go. As soon as the claw hits the Wolfos, tap A to exit first person view and immediately call Midna to transform and mash A through her text. If you don't, the camera will pan down and the text will ruin the setup. After transforming, pause and hold ESS right. Pause buffer until the second ish frame of the Midna charge is visible. During the pause, change ESS to forward for one buffer, then ESS left for a buffer. The right to left arc Link does should be smooth. 
it's important to only ESS right and not move, otherwise you'll miss the Midna Charge target on the Wolfos. After the ESS left, hold full left, making sure to stay low enough near the ledge to not void. You should pick up the Wolfos hitbox with the Midna Charge as it runs up the shelf. This is very timing sensitive as the Midna Charge is grabbing the outermost edge of the Wolfos hitbox. Once targeted and confirmed the Wolfos is heading up the shelf, take a step directly right. This prevents Link from bonking on the ledge or super jumping into the void zone on top of the shelf. Congrats, you've done early snow peak. It is important to know when to bail the trick. If you didn't get the target or you see the trick won't work, it's better to bail the trick than to accidentally void. Simply walk backwards as Wolf Link until he slides off the ledge. This will break the Midna target and allow you to reset without voiding. If the Wolfos aren't spawning where they should be, pan the camera around the map. You should see them spawn down below. If you're in position and you find the Wolfos come straight at you, but then detours to the right at the last second, your footing position is ever so slightly too much left. Readjust and you should be fine. If you're in the correct position and the Wolfos falls off the shelf or jumps down, you hit it with the claw shot too late in its arc. This can happen for a few different reasons. 1. You hit the Wolfos too late in its arc. 2. More commonly, your ESS right went on too long or you took a step. 3. You took too long to call Midna after hitting the Wolfos. This last case can be adjusted for on the fly, but don't expect to get this until you get more familiar with the trick. Your positioning after getting the target was incorrect. You were either too close or too far away from the ledge. Bonking, you were too close. Voiding, you were too far. If you've made it this far, congrats. You are well on your way to understanding and mastering this trick. I stream Monday to Thursday, 1am Pacific, 4am Eastern, till whenever I feel like it. Drop by, link in the description.